Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster, I'm Adam from FWCI and this is Taskmaster Season 13, Episode 3. I think I've got this. Someone... Oh, who's, who is that? Is that an idol? That might be an idol. I can imagine him going, I think I've got this, and then he fucks it up somehow. It could very well be a Bridget Christie though, let's not lie. Speaking of lying, there's a full length version of, uh, what's her name? Claudia Winkleman's Wilty compilation up on my Patreon at the moment. You can get full length versions of my Taskmaster reactions and early access and everything like that. So go check out Patreon, it helps the channel a lot, and make sure you subscribe here, hit the notification bell, and see, you know what, here's a challenge for you. Hit the notification bell and see if you get any notifications that are at all relevant to my channel. I have got my own thing logged in with notifications on and I get like one notification every two weeks. Might be because I don't watch my own videos all the time on YouTube. But I am curious about how notifications work and more importantly whose notifications work. Oh and also there's a full length version of Taskmaster Jr. up on Patreon as well. I am going to watch that series because I just love the Taskmaster format specifically. I think it's very transferable apparently to everywhere except the United States. Now I know I've only got like a few seasons before I'm fully caught up with like the current day Taskmaster but have any of the horrible histories people been on the show? Obviously Charlotte Ritchie, uh, no she's horrible histories, they're from Ghost, but Charlotte Ritchie and Lolly Adafope obviously have. I believe the guy who plays Mike in Ghosts has always has already been on Taskmaster as well. But what about the actual core people? Your Robins, your Thomases, your Lady Buttons. It always sounds funny. Julian, like uh, the Captain, Pat, like uh, have those... <laughs> I know I just rattled off the character names, but have those actors ever been on this show? If not, can we get like a all horrible histories season? I don't know, I feel like there's something there. Because everything I watch from that group is just hysterically funny, but this season's been crazy. Judy Love, I love her. She is absolutely ruthless and little Alex Horn better watch his ass. This is the most threatened he's been since Sally Phillips and Lisa Tarbuck. I'm actually surprised at how funny Sophie Duca has been. I don't know why I'm surprised at that. I don't know who any of these people are, but she is absolutely hysterical. She's like, oh, she's gonna be one of my favorites from the series. I, okay, it's like Judy, Sophie and Bridget, then, oh, then Ardle, and then Craig, Re Chris Ramsey down the bottom. I'm sure he's a nice guy, I'm sure he's hilarious, but I have decided that I don't want him to win because he's too good. He's good looking, he's good at tasks, he's got an interesting accent, uh, he's probably got other stuff going for him. I can only hope that he gets taken down a peg at some point throughout this series, but let's jump into it. This is Taskmaster Season 13, Episode 3. I think I've got this. And I am the flaming torch running through your cities and igniting your passion for tasks. <laughs> yes! Greg's intros have been on point this season. Hello, Hanlon! Ardle looks so out of his comfort zone. I found the words I was looking for. He looks out of his comfort zone. My assistant. He's consistent, persistent, and his bed has to be water resistant. Let's see the blood Alright, Greg took a trip down Attitude Avenue, I see. And I accidentally clicked uh, select all on Amazon. I've got everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The item that sounds funniest when you say its name over and over again. The item that sounds the funniest when you say its name over and over and over again. The item that I have for the prize task, I'm very proud of actually, because if you say this over and over again, you can do it to the tune of any song that you damn well feel. And the item is a bowl. Bow bowl. Bow 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 bow. Allow me to demonstrate. Give me a random song name. Okay. Shuffling music from YouTube. Alright, pra <laughs> for some reason, Praz Michael, Old Dirty Bastard, and my uh, ghetto superstar is the first thing that came up. Let's go. Ball, 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 ball. Ball, 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 ball. Alright, see? It works. This particular bowl may have been stolen from a Chinese restaurant, I think. I don't know where this came from. And of course, if you say it ten times in a row, ball, 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 
Then you get five bowl bowls. And for lapsed NBA fans, yes, that is Manute Bowl's son. Your move, Ramsey. I, for one, am laughing already. See? Alex is laughing already. I win. It's a real pheasant. Well. Oh. Okay, what is going on here? Pheasant, pheasant tweezer, tweezer? Tweezers, they're actually pheasant pluckers. Yeah, there, there are the pheasant pluckers. It's a pheasant plucker, pheasant the plucker. The right, is I the correct it. response. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Pheasant plucker, pheasant plucker, pheasant plucker! Pheasant plucker! <laughs> to, to. Oh. He's not pheasant plucker! <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it far more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> Cookbook. Say it again. Cookbook. Cookbook. I, th I would argue he could bring in most things. <laughs> Cookbook. Cookbook? Cookbook. Cookbook. I'm a pheasant plucker before I go with cookbook. Bubbles. <gasps> yes, here they are. Bubbles. Adel, that is the most idle entrant you could ever do. Bubbles. If you're angry, even you go, Bubbles. Like it's still funny, <laughs> or it, it kind of makes you less angry, or if you're... I mean, only Nish Kumar angrily says the word Bubbles. And I believe it's, you bubbly fuck. Let's say you can't find any crisps or something, and you can't, Bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your blood sugars go down and... Bubbles. What thing have you brought in? I've brought in pickles. Yes, a jar of pickles. <laughs> there we go, so it's not a bad price. All right, OK, not bad. Let's hear it, Judy. Pickle, pickle, Not bad. Pickle, 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 pickle. Mr. Pickle, 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 pickle. Mr. I want the pickle, pickle, pickle. Surely that gets a damn point or something. <laughs> I'm in TV quiz history, the winner will win a stop cock. What the hell's a stop cock? Oh, okay. It's got the word cock in it. And therefore, you've lowered yourself to my level. <laughs> Five points? Oh my god! Five fucking points! Jesus! Could we all just say bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hang on! Oh fuck! Oh! Oh my god! When they started doing like the rooster, <laughs> like war dance or whatever it was, their little circling around. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bobo. Uh, you didn't win this one. Oh. oh, I gotta let like my cheeks <laughs> return to normal. All right, we're good. I'm sorry, Pleasant Fucker didn't do it for me. Pleasant Fucker. Oh, oh, come on, happy you give her one point now. I'm good, I'm gonna have to take her up from huh? bottom. Yeah, so you should. I'm gonna give Cookbook and Bubbles three points each. Okay. But then I feel I was battered down by Stopcock. Well, <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> Four points to Stopcock. Pickles was a pure attempt. Oh. Oh, that's shocking. I mean, I'm happy Judy Love got the poire, but... Woof. I'm going to teach you a lesson, Greg. A history lesson. Bridget put her crutch in Greg's face for four points. <laughs> Amazing picture. Pardon? You look nice. You've never said that before. Thank you. I've never thought it before. I'm very good at finding the... She looks the same every time, Alex. What are you talking about? Accurately and emotionally recreate a great moment from history Using these two traffic cones. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know your history? It's just everything that's not now, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking about doing the moment from the VMAs. Maybe you'd be Janet Jackson and I'd be Justin Timberlake. Oh, wait a minute. That was the Super Bowl, wasn't it? That was a big moment. Oh, I've got it. Huh. I'm going to need some props. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to use it like tits, and I'm not surprised that it was Sophie Duker. <laughs> After watching her dry hump Greg's portrait. Recorded past. History is recorded past. Yeah. Okay. Okay, interesting terminology there. Part of history didn't need to be emotional. It's the recreation had to be emotional and, oh. and accurate, just so we know. Okay. Hang on. 
the the actual thing doesn't have to be emotional just the recreation how does that make any sense okay so wait you could be like here is like the time where something fucking innocuous happened and then you just add a bunch of tears to it is that am i getting this right <clears throat> We must fight back! Okay, we're, we're in a war, I see. They're turning around! The emotion I see from this man right here. <laughs> Thank you, Arlo. I've learned a lot. <laughs> Look at him, he, he always he looks so like he's shitting himself. I, you're usually very fair, but on this one... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't hear anything. Everything smells like eggs, Daddy. What is this supposed to be? Oh, I see the legs now, okay. See? Ian Sterling, that's how it works. Daddy! Daddy! No! Oh. Oh. oh no, this is a little princess all over again. Kind of. This is similar. A lot of digital stuff though. I don't know about the use of the cones. Just had to get that in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, can I just say, can I, can I just add, I think that is a fantastic moment, Sophie, from prehistory. I think it's... <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, oh! He's determined to win this. In the studio. <laughs> well, we, we, we could debate whether it's history or not for a long time. Uh, I'll make a snap decision, fair or not, within minutes. <laughs> Your character was, dare I say it, a little irritating. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want it to be <laughs> too sad. Tick. Because it's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everyone here, whether they're a dinosaur or not, has a fear of going extinct. Oh, nice try. You're not Judy Love. You can't get away with that. Troll history with Dr. Chris Ramsey. Mm. And he's a doctor? Yeah. Fuck you. We have cloned a sheep. Oh, Dolly the cloned sheep, really? Dolly the sheep. Didn't name that one. No one gives a shit. This is Dolly the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> he cries real tears. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> but I, I seem to remember that Dolly had a head. Oh, again! Your corn looked more like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair call. Remember on the task where it said about emotional. What that statement makes me look forward to yours more than you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good idea. If I panic, I don't really have anywhere to go. Oh my god, that's a horrifying thought. I mean, what's your accent? Is it English or is it Russian? I would think of my mother, but I'm a stray, so I don't have mother. <laughs> it's very emotional. And now, I'm ready to die. <laughs> what? Oh god. Oh my god, and it is historically accurate as well. Jesus, that's dark. It's exactly that. Uh, one orbit and then died from the heat. Oh no, poor Laika. I did like her. <laughs> a fitting tribute. <laughs> I'm just a bit like overwhelmed with like like how much props and digital stuff. Oh, Judy, Judy, you got this. Be confident. Is she building pyramids? Why is she wearing a crown? And why is the taskmaster and his eyebrow gazing upon this? It's pyramids. I'm an Egyptian queen. I've built pyramids. Oh no, none of that's right. What's your name? Nefertiti. Nefertiti, alright. That's a solid one point right there. Yeah, I can see why you were so vocal during the others. <laughs> Idol, got anything to add? We didn't ask about that, way. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying you sort of glamorised slavery there. That's what you... <laughs> Really demonstrated heartache, like Sophie just said. <laughs> she, she did? And the fact that my art draws the emotion after I've done it with just... No, you've used that line. What else do you need? I'll tell you what you need, one point. <laughs> <laughs> a 
<laughs> you can thank me for it. It was so Fucking bad. Fucking rubbish. <laughs> it was. It was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't moved by Dolly the sheep. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm giving you two. Oh yes. I cried for you. I'm giving him four points. Four points to one. And I'm standing by it. Can't and I don't think it. anyone will argue with me. Five. I don't think Arnold deserved the four, but I definitely think that um, Bridget Christie deserves the five, though. That was insane. Bridget is in the lead with nine points. What's that, Chris? Five plus, no win for you this episode? Fingers crossed. It's good news. It's an annoying task. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks. Toys. You like toys? I do like toys. Can I? All right, well, at least we've got that in common. The monsters must be squatting. The robot must be walking. Oh, no. The must, must be clicking. clicking. The sand, the sand must, must be falling. The sand must, must be falling. falling. The fidget, fidget spinner, spinner must be spinning. Those robots are going to fuck all of these people up. Oh, Judy's going to lose her shit. And Bridget. And Arnold. And Sophie. Chris will probably do fine. Oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can just do it all with the little things that pop up. Just give them ten of those. <laughs> Supposed to. Have you read the task properly? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We have three squatters. <gasps> Good job. Fuck. You stay or I'll smash you to pieces. Spinning. Rolling. Go! <sighs> no! You still going? Yeah! Alright, he did pretty good. <laughs> now he's dead. I feel like the the one rolling down had already stopped, but it's fine. Alex asked Ardle why he'd stopped, and he said, and I think I'm quoting here, because everything that was happening like it was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. He and the robot were both lying on the floor, kicking their legs. <laughs> <laughs> The monster is squatting when everything else is happening. Oh. Blur it's when the... it first clicks, it blurs oh, like it's God, a bubble. The blur. Oh. Should lie down on the ground at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the blur is weighing so heavy on my mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to allow it. She's done it. There she's is. done it. Wow, OK. He's a, he's a happy taskmaster today. So what happens if I blow them out now? They'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> How's a marble supposed to roll? How's a marble supposed to roll? What? Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh! I think I've got this. Yep. <laughs> got this. Hold on. Hold on. I think I've got this. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you could just hold them down yourself, couldn't you? I've got the clock. Wow! God damn you! Hang on! I think I've smashed that task, to be honest with you. The candle is still lit. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> I think it was a daddy look. Did I do good, daddy? He had to check in. The little boy. The little boy had to check in twice. <laughs> Did he just yeah. blow them out with his super strong lungs? No, he got there quick. That's what you can do with those candles. If you blow them out quick enough, they don't get down oh, to... They're the, the relighting candles? Alex, screw you. How's a marble supposed to roll? How's a marble supposed to roll? <laughs> you're in that moment of that pressure. You're in a room. It's all plastic. You think you're going to get chopped up? <laughs> I'm say, say, drinking say, a glass of wine. Same sentences repeatedly. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> that actually sounds accurate. Ah. Oh, here we go. Come on, Judy. I was the fastest to lose. Yeah. Oh, you, you can take that home with you. Yeah. Four points to Bridget, five to Chris Ramsey. <laughs> the other three just didn't, didn't do the task, so, um, so they get zero. Yes, but... Shit, I don't like that. <laughs> Let's have one more task then, please. Chris is just f getting so far ahead. Whoa. What's going on here? I like seeing you in that position, actually. 
Oh, do you just? Enable Alex to bite his duck. Fastest wins. Also, the person. What the who... fuck is this? <laughs> Let me guess. The duck is in the thing. So it looks like Alec is sucking his own dick. This is like a really filthy task. <laughs> yes, agreed. What the fuck was the rules? Hang on. Person who gets Alex the least wet gets a bonus point. Person who gets Alex least wet. All right, so you, you have to enable Alec to bite his duck. You can't get up on the deck and least wet wins. I think you're going through some difficult years. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the people? There was a camera crew. <laughs> you asked them to tie you up. Yes. It's really weird, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to have a little chat afterwards. Right. Anyway, the challenge is there for these poor people to attempt. Mm -hmm. Who's first? I'd love to see Greg take Alex Horn aside like he did with Nish and Acaster. Quite keen to buy my duck. <laughs> okay, is it that easy? Just. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I think he's easy. Bridget Christie's outfit makes it even more hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is amazing. I'm so happy and proud of you. This task is nasty. Bye, yeah. Is this like the most overtly sexual task they've ever had on the show? Yes! I mean, the task itself, obviously, we've seen overtly sexual attempts, but this one just seems kind of yuck. Bite straight away. That shows he wasn't biting for me. I should be leaning. Listen, isn't it? Look at the left. Put your arm back. <laughs> yeah. Very logical. All the women, they weren't lured by this, just a mention of water. Uh, let's, let's, and the bucket think... and the wellies. Oh, no. Come on. Bridget, you... F oh, no. One of Alex's sexual fantasies by... <laughs> Turning him into a beekeeper. <laughs> Bridget enjoyed it as well. You had a big smile on your face while feeding the duck in one minute and one second. Wow. All right. Well done, Bridget. In the lead. Sorry, Alex. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dougal! It worked quite well. Yeah. Is it uh, biteable yet? Not yet, no, Chris. I don't want to get you wet. I hope he's really arrogant about this one as well. <laughs> There you go, you're set. Lift it. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> you can go fuck yourself, you can. Pardon? That's never gonna fill up, is it? There's a hole in that bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. <laughs> oh God. I think plan A again, Alex, I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh my God. He's having a nice time. Is he? Yeah. Okay, that's just gonna to take too long, so. <laughs> Now you've got the duck. <laughs> Doing some disgusting things to that duck. Oh wow, Ramsey did it. Stuck to his vision. One point. It's okay, and just because I think the Taskmaster would respect it. <laughs> That's an ingenious move as well, fuck it up. <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, you've got to share that glory with Ardle, who immediately threw a pan of water at Alex. <laughs> Four to Sophie, three to Judy. Uh, Ardle did it in 14 minutes, 37. Chris in 15... Oh, God. There is a bonus point for whoever kept me the driest. <laughs> I would say all three ladies didn't. So all three of them get a bonus point? I think so. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> all right, so it's six to Bridget, five to Sophie, four to Judy, two to Ardle, and one to Chris, and we're done! No. Well done, ladies. You all cleaned up on that one. As a team, put one of your faces and one of your legs through the hole. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> Most wrong guesses after three rounds. Hey, okay, all right. So it's a game of leg bluff, basically. Little face. <laughs> Little Ardle's face. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's going to be really hard. I think uh, that's Ardle's face. That's obviously old mate's leg. Um, Chris's leg. I think it's Chris Ramsey's leg. Yeah, I agree. I'm oh, Ardle, what is wrong with your leg? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
waiting in the booth for the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Arnold. <laughs> That's Judy Love. Yep. But is this Judy Love's leg? I'm gonna say absolutely fucking not. But I do not believe it is Judy Love's leg. Oh, well done. Oh. <laughs> Bridget, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's electric. We've got to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Against my instinct, I'm going to say that leg does belong to that oh, leg. We're on the same page this episode, Tasky. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, wait. <laughs> the door is open. <laughs> Why am I in such sync with Greg Davies at this episode? It's Bridget? Oh. Yes. But is that Bridget? Oh. I don't believe that's Bridget. Yeah, agreed. With you again. I still feel confident. I knew it wasn't so so little oh. leg. Okay, if you're not... I can hear Judy Love like... Uh, 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 uh. No! <laughs> I should have known we all... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Is that Chris's leg? Oh, make some noises, make some weird noises on him. Um, I think it's... <laughs> I think it's Arnold's foot. Arnold's leg. Well, if you're not Chris Ramsey, please leave the booth. No. Oh, finally! Dangling. No. I think that is no. not Judy Loves. Again, I guess the same as him every single one. Yeah. It's, it's my leg, babes. Send Sophie out then. Fuck! That was crazy. I can't believe I just kept guessing the same as Greg every single time. I even thought I got it wrong when he did as well. Fuck. Two points per person per deception. Okay, which means the men okay. get two points each. Yeah. Correct. The women get six points. Damn! Series, Chris is no longer in the lead. Yeah, I reckon. She has won by a landslide nine points. She has 25 wow. in total. Bridget Chris. Oh my God. Jesus! Like her, may you rest in peace. Amazing effort by Bridget on this one. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, bubbles! Bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble, 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 pickle, 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 pickle. Kook, pook, kook, pook. And whatever the other one was. A oh, pheasant plucker, pheasant plucker, yeah. That was a crazy episode, my god. Some of the moments in this one here, one of them, I felt like my jaw was about to collapse. Um, but let's quickly go through the tasks. First one was bringing an item that sounds hilarious when you say it over and over again. Bridget Christie, what was her item? What was it? Was it the pheasant plucker? It was a stopcock. That's right. Oh my god. <laughs> that was absolutely insane when they started strutting around like two roosters challenging each other for territory and then bridget just would not let it go after that beautiful beautiful taskmaster moment and she really challenges greg she really challenges alex she really challenges physics she really challenges the law bridget christie i don't know what her deal is but she is so all in on life it feels like next was another bridget christie high performance task where you needed to take the traffic cones and make something emotional and historically accurate i guess she really really reached into the dna of that task and found something truly harrowing and beautiful and so dark that it is genuinely funny and impressive and, and enjoyable probably one of my favorite task efforts ever on the show i would have to say i loved watching judy love try and fail to uh, justify her uh, pyramids effort <laughs> she she's not afraid to have a crack and greg was like uh-huh uh-huh one point <laughs> I like the task, make all these things happen at once. That looks like it'll be a lot of fun and I hope we get to see more variations of that um, throughout this series and overseas as well, maybe, who knows? Just the visual of those things popping up and everybody trying to like multitask so many things at once. It was just a very fun, kind of old school feeling taskmaster task. And on top of that, <laughs> with the exception of the horribly sexual undertones of the task overall, the one where they had to fill up the, uh, 
the the bucket. That felt like a bit of an old school task as well, just because there were so many different ways to do it. There were red herrings involved. There was it's a very basic kind of thing that they were doing. But I think that one was a little bit gross. I don't think this show needs to go in that direction, to be completely honest, where they're making all these like... Because that wasn't even like a, an innuendo or like a subtle joke. In fact, they even showed Sophie saying, this is a filthy task, Alex. You do realize this. So that was a little bit of a weird one, but I did like that there were two very different ways that you could... Um, achieve that task and we got to see both of them and the last one was crazy oh my god I couldn't get any of them right I think I got a couple of them right with Greg but yeah that was a very fun task it was more difficult than I expected it would be so I, I can't wait to hear some of these people on the the Taskmaster podcast with Ed Gamble so that I can find out more about that particular task because they would have no strategy going into that and clearly it was working. And if you are new to my channel, just for the record, I don't hate Chris Ramsey, but in the context of the show and for the context of the video, I don't want him to win. With that being said, he also doesn't really do a great deal for me anyway, so it's not much of a stretch to say I don't want him to win, but he is just so good at it. <laughs> and if there's a reason for somebody to hate you, being really good at shit is probably one of the more flattering reasons. So can't wait to see what happens with his score as we go through. But it is amazing that Bridget has now taken the lead in the overall. So we got a ball game on our hands, everyone. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you go to patreon.com slash fwci if you want a full length version of this video and full length Taskmaster Jr. and all that kind of stuff. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. Ta-ta. Farewell. Desiree, my mother, and Victoria. They're doing this one for the ladies. Gentlemen, keeping it elegant. Gus and Alan, motherfucking Davies.